ကလေးနာမိတ္တာဟာတတ္တတရားနဲ့ပြည့်စုံရမယ်လို့ချေခံမိတော့ပြောတော့ပါတယ်အဲ့ဒီတတ္တတရားဟာတိအောကပတာရ
Ego Puyido Yogi de Ha Didana Nina and Ye Kaya with an Azida Dama called it. I will lead it, Bogai Bogai Ma. See as I be a chain that guy. So as we may be a human did it. The Ribita Lungani, Lungi Jabare. All of us who are participating in this retreat at the moment are quite engaged in the task of putting the Satipatthana teaching into practice. That is, if we look at it from uh, a very orthodox and uh, textual context, then we should be trying to uh, put in the effort diligently with accurate uh, accuracy and precision of mind uh, to be mindful of four types of uh, objects that is objects with objects that are related to the body to feelings to the mind and Dharma objects <laughs> ကိုအပေါင်းလိုက်ကြည့်လို့တော့မရပါဘူးအဲ့ဒီကာယာတွေကအစိတ်ပိုင်းနေအများရေးရှိပါတယ်ကျန်စာအပြင်ပြောရမ
all the activities involved in the transition process from a standing posture to a sitting posture <coughs> is are material phenomena. Adi tainze kana fa tainze ne nandia ne tainze yutia tinsha ni wale. Tapi malu turup si kai lebi do mesu ye. Tainze ne nandia gule mati wau. Tainsha le yutia gule be mati wau. Ela turup si sema lebi do siu mama. Tainze ne nandia ne tainze yutia. <coughs> so it is very obvious that in the process of sitting, starting from a standing posture, uh, involves two classes of phenomena. We have the material phenomena and the mental phenomena. Or rather, we have first the intention, which is, a me- which is a mental phenomena, followed by various other material phenomena involved in the lowering process prior to the actual sitting posture. Now, if one does not concentrate one's mindfulness on what is happening at the very moment of uh, sitting, then one will be ignorant of the uh, existence of these mental and and material phenomena. Uh, However, if one is, on the contrary, if one is mindful and, uh, and focused very accurately and precisely on what is happening in this whole sitting process, one can come to understand and comprehend not by rationalizing, not by intellectualizing, but through a very intuitive manner these mental and material phenomena as they occur from moment to moment. There is a whole series of material phenomena which occurs from moment to moment and this whole sitting process. Ari Tanya Nadia Asinzene Tai Tai Chari Yudia Asinzene Uwe Loga Wara Abhin Tain De Lukovare Lumu a Lai Wari Ari Wara Rileve Kweza Mabe Conventionally we refer to the <coughs> process to that whole series of mental and material phenomena as sitting in the English language. Of course, if you speak other languages, you will also understand that various uh, names are given to that process. <coughs> so quite in line with convention and with the use of concepts, uh, you are required to note sitting, sitting as this process occurs. <coughs> It seems that it is a common occurrence for some yogis uh, to find it kind of difficult to label the actual process of sitting uh, while trying to be mindful of what's happening. Uh, it, there is some resistance in wanting to attach labels 
like sitting and sitting, to the process in which one is supposed to be aware of, supposed to be mindful of. In fact, the labeling process is quite justified. Buddha Gura Ngugave Amita Bido Mapongi Tribatai Asa Tidana Vaima Piavare Piavungaro Kai Kaya Nubasi Vihara Tid Piavare Actually, the Buddha himself gave very specific instructions with regard to the labeling of activities for someone who is starting uh, of activities in the start of the Satipatthana Sutta. Um, in Pali, we can quote it as Kaye Kaya Nupasi Viharati. ကာယေးတို့ပေါင်းပြီးတော့ပြထားပါတယ်တကူလုံးကာယကိုဤလိုရှိရမယ်တော့မဟုတ်ပါဘူးဒီပုံပန်းတန္နာညီဒီလို
say to dwell contemplating the body or contemplating in the body uh, that would be quite unclear because contemplating here we can again uh, put it more clearly by uh, rendering it as repeatedly noting repeatedly watching it to dwell repeatedly watching in the body and how is that done? it seems very vague but because of the extra occurrence of the word body to dwell repeatedly watching the body in the body it makes more sense to dwell repeatedly watching the body of activity involved in sitting while sitting is occurring that is the sense of what is uh, being said when there is the sitting the whole body of activities involved with the sitting process is occurring then you are supposed to repeatedly watch it by labeling sitting, sitting Sāvai mārā Poya poya lirigu loka vara atai Amita tabiro mamma Tamari pilva vare Chaja nana le chinai vare Uma vya bane dvile sara Luri mui lārai mui lārai Amima tafe ne lū lū sara shi Peluma di mamma hu Zaudiya piyo ziya su ziya khai ziya shi lū shi Lū 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 piyo lū shi Pete guero mamma le Actually, this labeling process is an extremely useful tool for beginners in Satipatthana meditation. To illustrate the point, uh, Sayadaw point, Sayadaw would like to bring up an example and uh, this refers to the naming of people or persons. We are aware that uh, we are given specific individual names from the very moment that we are born. If such names are not given in a specific manner, then if all human beings were simply to be called person, 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 it would be kind of difficult. <laughs> um, there is no distinction and whenever we would like to get anything done, uh, you can foresee the difficulties involved, the impossibility of uh, living effectively in such a world of anonymity. Uh, so also with the uh, practice of Satipatthana meditation, labeling is needed to distinguish the various activities that we are supposed to be mindful of from moment to moment as they occur. ตีมบัวกุณีชะเรคามาตาลีตันสระชีวะเลยดีตาลีตันเนี่ยตะคุยินตะคุยินบ่เลยหมัดตายะเลยกุณโลยุงเนี่ยปิสีดีตะนิย
Another example is that of a talistic. <coughs> a talistic, if you don't know, is an instrument or a device that was used in the old days uh, when goods were transferred from a cargo ship uh, to another or were brought down uh, to the port, to the pier. So, uh, in order to keep track of all the goods that are being unloaded or that are being transferred, it is necessary for a person to uh, make notches on a stick that he is holding in his hand. So that tally stick, as it is called, uh, is, very, is a very useful device because it helps the person, it helps the trader to keep in track of all his goods. So too, in the practice of Satipatthana meditation, labeling is a very, very useful device that will help us tremendously in keeping track of all the various activities and various processes that occur from moment to moment throughout the day. The new option level starting as a clear slowly, mommy, or say, I think that a day, year, year, about it, a town, let toy about it. Dama, slowly, mommy, we do a tando clear level teacher, neighbor. Another example is found in the education of children in the kindergarten or in very elementary schools you will notice that children are taught to read and write by having to write letters of the alphabet as well as to pronounce each separate letter. And that is done so that there can be accuracy in actual writing and in the pronunciation of the word and pronunciation of the letters. And once they've got, uh, once they've uh, learned how to write and read aloud each separate letter of the alphabet, then they begin to spell out words. They can write words, and then they spell out words. C A T cat, A P P L E apple, and so forth. And uh, that uh, technique is useful for a child who is learning to read. But as you all know, uh, through time, as you get more and more familiar and more conversant with uh, printed matter, with literature, then you dispense completely with the whole, this whole system of having to spell out each letter of the alphabet. It becomes really very redundant and totally uh, useless in later part of your life. However, the point to note that the point to note is that this uh, method is very useful. It is a very useful device at the beginning, though we may eventually discard it when it no longer is useful. <coughs> So I was confident that uh, all of us here present will understand uh, and appreciate the point that he is trying to bring across. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to 
ตู้บ่ลาเรตบาวะอมุยะอะไลไทยเนี่ยสุเรอมีไตอะมั้ยเนาะกะลีดีก็แล้วสลุงตีเนี่ยขามาอตันถั่วยาบาเรเดมะก
diligent effort and firm uh, mindfulness. Hello, it's been years. Well, shoot, na ino. Shoot, shoot, ya. When a time chare yuk amu ya boma. Sule, cycle, kakre cha doare. Samatha khore, samari lile phila dabe. Di thnaare maro era lilo ma pia. Udabe malu punchanga mia ga. Eri halile alulu pa doare sura po pia baare. Eri in azuli le beshi ga. As a natural consequence of this application of diligent effort and firm mindfulness, there will also occur uh, one-pointedness of mind, concentration. Though this is not uh, specifically mentioned in the actual uh, Satipatthana Sutta, the commentaries or the commentary uh, says that this is a natural consequence, that samadhi or concentration is a natural consequence that comes out of the application of diligent effort and uh, firm mindfulness. <laughs> Tiny Amuya says, Poma, Susa Jadwaro, Legle, Legle, Eagle, Eagle, Sara, Tiny Yukmuya, the worry, Tila, eh, and a Samjanoya, Samjanya, Pinya, eh. The next word that comes is Sampanjano, which means uh, one possessed of clear comprehension which is quite a logical uh, occurrence because with diligent effort, firm mindfulness and one-pointedness of mind, one, be, one will be able to see that this whole sitting process, this whole body of activities involved in the sitting process consists of nothing more than a whole series of sensations which can be directly experienced like heaviness, uh, a sinking quality, or gravitating towards the ground, and uh, so forth. And therefore, for one uh, who is possessed of effort, mindfulness, and one-pointedness of mind, he will naturally uh, also be possessed of clear comprehension. He clearly understands and comprehends the true nature of what is happening right under his eyes, so to speak. <coughs> and to analyze the word sampanjanyo, sampanjanyo, which means, uh, which is, which is uh, made up of the uh, suffix sam and pa and nya, and some and pa. Some here means uh, <coughs> correctly, and pa, pa means, means separately, separately and differently. Um, this is this can be experienced in your practice uh, because you actually see things for what they really are. You see that the actual sitting process consists of nothing more than these physical sensations which can be directly experienced without having to think about it through any concepts or without having to rationalize and so forth. And secondly, you also come to see that uh, 
the sensations that you experience do not occur in the same way every time that you carry out the sitting, that you note the sitting process. At times it is more intense, at other times it's not so intense, at other times the sensations uh, occur at different uh, places and different sensations occur and so forth. အတူစိတ်ရဆိုင်ပြီးတော့မလွတ်တန်းဆွဲမြဲစွာရှိရင်အဲ့ဒီထိုင်းနဲ့ယုံသဘောကိုတပိုင်းနေစာတိတာမ
Or it can be also um, translated as knowing completely in a special way and in a discriminating way. And of course the third definition which we talked about just now is uh, knowing personally in a special and special and discriminatory way. Hello, what do you have to do? ဒီတုံးမျိုးအင်အာဇုပါနေတာခုနစမာရိဘာဆိုလို့ရှိရင်လေးမျိုးပေါ်လေးလေးမျိုးအင်အာဇုပါနေတာကိုပဲပါလေ
note the sitting process by labeling sitting, sitting. That is, uh, uh, by labeling sitting, sitting, we are actually giving uh, prominence to the material phenomenon. ยุทธยามยามยามยิทันชาลุชีเนาะไม่ยากบ่ครับพี่เนาะนี่นี่ทันมั้ยล่ะคนน่ะสิอาศัยหมู่เนี่ยสวยเมียสวยชื่อหม
ability to distinguish the mental and the material phenomena comes about very naturally. It comes about as a result <coughs> of their awareness and not through any thinking or deliberate rational process. ไอ้เดี๋ยวตอนนี้เราจะเลจะเลยอยู่ตัวเนี่ยตู้ดีเนี่ยนั่นตัวอะไรก็อีกสิ่งกูที่ดีจะจะที่เลยเลยสิเน
ไทยนี่ไทยเนี่ยสรุปว่าพอไหลไม่ได้ป่ะเว้ยสายองค์ตะคุทับไปแล้วฟ้าตะลุบ่ไอ้ตะลุไม่ป่ะเมียเยคน
ก็พ่องมาเปียปิวาสวาคุวัญญาเนี่ยกวยเปียทุจาสวาติเมียพี่แล้วโอกัปปนะสัตตาโกนิติปิณัยพี่แล้วนอกโซเรียมัญญาภ